Pixelkin. Hi, Nathan Minya here, and I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of what you can do with Game Maker Studio. And I'll be using an actual game that a few friends and I created for our indie studio, Touchfight Games, right in Game Maker. So if you're making a game, it's important to think a little bit about the kind of game you want to make, and then jot down some ideas. For our first game, Go to Bed, we wanted to create a spooky defense game where you could click or tap on monsters to protect a young boy who's trying to get some sleep. That concept played a big role in figuring out how to actually build the game in Game Maker Studio. This is what the game looks like in action, but let's take a quick look at it inside Game Maker Studio. So here's Game Maker's interface. You'll see that there's a menu bar to the left that will keep track of all your artwork, all of your sounds, your objects, and all the files that you use to create your game. Every game needs good artwork, so that's a great starting point for most people. Game Maker Studio has a built-in art and animation tool set that lets you draw characters, monsters, items, whatever you can think of, and even entire backgrounds for your levels right in the game engine. If you're a fan of the retro pixel art look, you can create all of that right in the drawing program here. Or if you want, you can even draw things by hand and import them into your game. For Go to Bed, we had our artist Len draw all of the different bits of artwork, all the characters, the monsters, the other elements, and they brought them into the game to animate and tinker with. Once you have some artwork, then you can create an in-game object for it, like a hero, a monster, or even an item to pick up. Game Maker uses an object-based system for designing gameplay. So as you create different objects to put in the game world, you can apply different artwork, controls, events, sound effects, and specific actions to them, which determines how they look and act in the game world. The easiest way to do this is to create different events and then apply special actions using the drag and drop interface. So for example, this is the player object you have to protect. And when the player is first created in the game level, it performs these actions. As you can see, there are tons of different preset events and action commands that you can combine to create all kinds of cool stuff. It takes a little while to get used to them all, but once you get a feel for how all of this works, which doesn't take that long, you can start building games very quickly. So once you have some objects created and then some behaviors that are programmed in with the drag and drop commands, you'll want to test that out in an actual level. In Game Maker, levels are called rooms. You'll want to create some artwork to use as the background for a room, but then you can just take the objects you've created drop them into the game, and place them wherever you want. This lets you create and design different levels for your game piece by piece, and then you can build out your entire game by stringing different levels together. This is all a pretty simplified explanation, but you get the idea. There's a lot you can do here, and you can make some really cool games in the process. And then you also can add sound effects, music, a game menu, and even neat visual effects to your projects too. Once you're ready to test it all, you can hit play, and then the game will compile. Since GoToBed has a lot of different files in it, it can take a little while to do that, so I'm just going to skip to the good stuff. Now this is still a work in progress version of the game, but as you can see from the quick clips, we've put a lot of time into it to make it polished. Here's a quick look at a few little bits of the gameplay. So that's a quick look at one example of what you can do with Game Maker Studio. If you go to the Game Maker website, you can download a free version of Game Maker just to get started. And if you'd like to check out the near finished version of Go to Bed and play it for yourself, you can go to www.touchfightgames.com to find the link to the PC and iOS versions. If you and your family have tinkered with Game Maker Studio at all, we'd love to hear about the projects you're working on. So feel free to share with us in the comment section below. Thanks a bunch.